have you gone to a school for the first time? Registering inside that school, you not come inside the class, you not take you back, like back, back to the chair because you are too big or you are too tall. And the most part of it is when the student is not start looking at you as mama mad. Oh my god, if you have not been body shamed before, like if you have not been body shamed before, oh my god, this video is not for you because you don't know what I'm talking about. I have uh, my school days. Oh my god, my own is the worst. Like, I don't really know. So, body shaming is part of me. And if you are telling me about this, my body now, oh, you're wasting your time because I have heard it a, a lot of time, like a lot of times. Unless I just decided that I want to do this for my body. Like, maybe I want to, I want to, I want to just have a good shape. I want to reduce, not because of what people are telling me or not because of what people are saying about me. No, my dear, when I did that was then, but now. I don't got to disturb myself or anything because I believe that anything I have in my body now is follow come. That's it. If you are interested in what people are saying about your body, <laughs> you are making a very big mistake. The most painful part of body shaming that I've never like that is the most painful in this world is body shaming because of child belts. Oh my god, you may be slim because I know that some women have lost their body because of child but some of the women like they have lose they have totally lose their body they have tried everything humanly possible to catch up their body after giving birth but that is natural for you and when you see them maybe doing what they want to do you see people coming to their comment section like when you go to tiktok oh my god when you go to instagram oh my days there is nobody shaming this youtube when you go out to other apps that's why you see somebody shaming you see someone that you're coming out to do video do not tell the person please can't walk on your tummy Please, can't walk on your bumbo. You have black bumbo. Please, you are too big for all these things. You see somebody that is 15 years because she's not big. Like, not that I say you are too big for all these things. That is the most worst body shame that somebody can give to a fellow woman being. Like, all these people that is body shaming somebody. I don't know whether you people have sense. Like, no, you people have sense at all. You have sense. The way you just come out. See, them just tell you. All these people that is body shaming you. When you go to their page, they're not better than you. Some of them say I've not even given birth. When they give birth, they will know the meaning of body shaming. Me, when I was in when I was in school, <laughs> any school that my mother enrolled me on, oh my god, you are too big. When it comes to calisthenics, they will not allow they will not even allow me to join. When it comes to cultural dance, it's maybe it's all this just and J6 and cultural dance, you know, I said they will not put me there and leave me this. And not take me to people that is just to go and do kind of for them because I have a very big body. Like, I've even reduced my body now. When I was in school, if you see me then, I had this kind of big body. And I and almost my, my siblings, I, I'm the one that has the most. After my senior sister, they not get to my um, senior sister, but just just have two that have this kind of body. And I'm the last born. Sometimes I'll be like, it will pay me that I have this kind of body that. Sometimes I'll just be like, which kind of body do I have? Sometimes I will keep myself in drinking all this slimy tea and I will punch to tire. Sometimes, oh my god, I will be regretting my body. Or the position of acne. Oh my god, when I was in school, that one, was, that one nearly killed me. <laughs> when you have a crush, and the crush eventually start looking at your way. And eventually not look at your face. And so, and see acne. And not come and see this your big body. And not come and see you have a flat bum bum. Your crush will not leave you and go ever like someone sort and leave you and jump to another person that is the toughest like that is a very bitter but the shaming is not no good if you are this kind of person that go to people's instagram to body shame them please stop you are causing a very big harm look at this celebrity that died people that told start saying why will you go and do this why will you go and do that hypocrites everywhere like Hypocrites. She's very beautiful, but some people you still go and body shame her. Even people, maybe now you not see that she don't know how to speak English. She's not somebody. You know now come and tell you you don't know how to speak English. You saw these people body shaming you. Some of them are sent by the devil. Some of them are sent to destroy your life. Some of them are evil. Some of them are deadly mouth. You don't leave the people that is body shaming you. They are not going through what they are going to have. After you see a CS mom, now God do not have mercy for, for you. Now you now have a second life to live. You now live secondly. And now because of the CS you are, you now come and have this big tummy. And somebody will not come and tell you why do you have big tummy. Walk on your tummy. The tiny tightening belt. Your tummy is too big. That I'm getting this. 
you don't need like you don't need to give all those people listen of air because they are sent to just destroy your life and to me don't give a hate comment a space to destroy your life you see comment once you are in this street of you want to work you want to work for money you are in tiktok you are in youtube you are in instagram and people do comment like comment in your posts don't give space for hate comments because you giving space for hate comments is you giving space for all this body shaming of the thing when you see somebody that is committing hate comments in your, in your comment section you don't know how to block the person you reply back fire back if they give you one give them two With the, don't be slow ah, don't be like i don't want to insult anybody ah, because then it's insulting they don't have much then they is insulting you like do they resist insult from your face if they give you one you give them two. Anybody that say you don't have bumbo, tell the person that your bumbo is okay for you. Anybody that say you don't have breast, tell the person that is in this your breast, the size is portable for you. Don't go and die. I think that body shaming is a very, very bad thing. <laughs> if I don't die in body shaming, I don't think I will die again. My secondary school days was hell. My university days was hell. Even so that my body shame me really wanted to affect me in my marriage. To give body shame me a space to destroy your life. So people are hard, they don't have hard work. So people this phone you see they are using. Maybe their mom gets it for them or their uncle gets it for them. And you see the data they are using to body shame you. Maybe MTN have attached them one megabyte. They don't want to they don't know what to use it for. So people are useless. So, so, like, so people are totally useless. They don't know what to use. Ah, my God. They will just look for open a comment section to just throw their hateful comment to start body shaming you. Maybe you see someone that has that is pregnant, though. You now see the person's nose. You now start telling the person, you have a very big nose. Can't walk on your nose. But you are blind. You see that the person, oh my God. I don't know how the people normally used to think. But you see that the person is pregnant, though. And you still come and tell the person, see your nose is very big. <laughs> see your nose is very big. Oh my god, there's a one comment that I read. There is a comment, she's a TikToker, and the lady is very beautiful, though she's not married. And she had this kind of big stomach, but she's very, very creativity. Like, she can dance, she can do, and she has dimples. If you are in TikTok, you should know who I'm talking about. But when you go to that girl's comment, the hateful comment there is very, very bad. If she wears, like, if she wears a clothes now to come and do video on TikTok, you see people now come and tell her, or eventually, like, she now snap picture. Like there is a, a wedding they went for she now snap picture and now use a pause. I don't know, maybe it's a is a style that she choose to stay, like using her hand to at uh, the pause to place on her stomach. Maybe it's normally style because I normally stay that kind of style. And now people now told her in the comment section that she should that let her move that back, that that her, that her back is not going to cover her big stomach. Like if I'm the person reading this thing, do you think I'll be happy? I will find the most that's why all these bad influencers, influencing slimity, influencing um flat tummy. That's what they are selling. Because you are body shaming our fellow women be. I should be minding our business, staying in our own space, minding our own body, and don't carry another body body in your head. All these people that is influencing bad things to know will not be selling. But when you are when you when you are your body shaming your fellow women be like what do you like what do you think when they see that buy your slim tea buy your slim tea buy your slim tea so definitely come buy it so they will shock you and tell you that they still have flat tummy left in them and from there you're not going to take the wrong product and when the person not there tomorrow you're not going to say ah, rest in peace but you you contributed in that person that you contributed in telling that person to come and work on his or her stomach you contributed to tell that person that you, you don't know how to speak good english you contributed to tell that person you have a you have a flat bum bum oh my god people are very wicked like seriously, people are very prepared. This video is just for me to just tell you guys that if you are going to body shaming, is it from bed? After having bed, you are big like you are slim. Then after marriage and set and done, you know you not added. See, the advice I have to give to you is don't give a what people say about you. Like don't give a f what people say about you. Your body is okay. If you want to work on your body, you're working it. Because you want to, not because someone have like, not because somebody is body shaming you that you have big body, not because of that you want to de depress yourself to come and work on your body. That is not going to work. But the one you are doing because of you want to is the one that is going to work for you. Because you are going to have a relaxed mind, like you have patience to see results. 
But those that one that but you put somebody will put the shame you want to drink slim it na 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 you want to slim na 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 that's why you're jumping from one product to another. But if those that one that you want to do by yourself that you want to put you just take a natural rhythm um remedy and you walk out and from there you you're going down. So this video is just to advise I'm sorry advise my mom new mom single that has big body like us like big body gang don't be listening to what people have to say about you their body shaming and everything don't give a f in what they say about you you are beautiful you are you are you are lovely you are you, i don't know what to say you are just gorgeous the way you are Leave them to put it to position their self and launch you. So anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of our video. See you guys in my next video. Bye.